Hi guys, so today we're going to be talking about how to make our introduction. A lot of you have already started your introduction, but maybe it isn't looking quite like how it needs to be looking. Or maybe some of you weren't here when we talked about the introduction. Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about today. So if you have introduction written on your green neon sticky note, then you need to be watching this video to understand how to write your introduction. So your introduction needs to have some interesting leads. Okay? So you should have chosen one that you want. So setting the scene, that means you are telling your audience, kind of giving them an idea of where they are um, or a scene from your expert topic. A question lead is asking a question about your topic, your expert topic, kind of get your reader interesting. And an amazing unusual fact is something that maybe you know or maybe you had your research, something that's super cool that... Um, your reader may not know about, okay? Your interesting lead, you can choose whichever of these three you want to use and put a star next to the one that you want to use. So mine, I'm gonna be using, imagine that you're in the backyard with two geniuses who are too young to be inventing crazy machines. If you imagine this, you'd know about Phineas and Ferb. Focus statement. This focus statement includes your three main ideas. Your three main ideas should be up here your three main ideas. Char my main idea is about characters, inventions, and events that happen in the show. So my focus statement should include that. So I am telling my reader what we're going to be talking about in this article. So I said I will be explaining the characters in Phineas and Ferb, some inventions that the brothers make, and different events that happen in every episode. And if I look right back here, the characters, inventions, and events, it all matches up. Then, my introduction. My introduction includes my interesting lead, so I can just copy and paste. Okay, control, copy, and then I paste it right here. So it starts with my interesting lead to get my reader interested. And then I have my focus statement. So I can just control, copy this, or right click, copy, and then I paste my focus statement. It needs to be in this order, your interesting lead and your focus statement. You can't just write your introduction from scratch. You need to be writing your interesting lead and your focus statement before you continue to slide 12 where you complete your introduction. Once you do your interesting lead and your focus statement, copy and paste them into the introduction in that order, the interesting lead, then the focus statement, then you are good to go.